Just a refresher on using uh, mask and select here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, go to Photoshop. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to create something new. I'm going to choose letter here, uh, which is eight and a half by 11 at 300 pixels per inch. You can do vertical or horizontal. It doesn't necessarily matter. And then you're going to create. All right, so here's my particular project that I have created. Now you can add backgrounds and all sorts of things later. We're just going to go ahead and put a face in here and, and just work with that right away. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to say open. I'm going to uh, navigate to uh, my desktop folder, right? So here's my desktop. I'm going to go to photo collage. I'm going to look for my face image here, which is somewhere in this area here. I'm going to mouse up or arrow up until I find it. I think it's right here. There it is. I'm going to say open. There we go. And I'm going to right click on it, duplicate layer, and I'm going to send it over to my new project. I'm going to call it um, Big Face. Oops. If I could spell, I'd be dangerous. There we go. And I'm going to say OK. Let's get rid of that. And there's my big face there. So now I'm going to have to stretch it out. And because the resolution of my picture is pretty low, uh, it's going to be a little bit pixelated as I stretch it out. So that's why using a larger, you know, the larger uh, image you can find is probably best. But I'm going to think about my sketch that I have. I'm going to rule of thirds here, right? I'm going to think about putting the face down on this bottom right hand third. Uh, but I'm also going to overlap the edge here a little bit on the side. I'm going to hit my check mark for my transformation. Remember, I'm using my transformation tool. If you don't see your transforming controls, they're right here. Right? That's so you can turn those on. Auto select uh, allows you to, whatever you click on here, will allow you to select the particular layer. We want to use the background layer right now, which is fine. Uh, oh, interesting, it didn't keep my title over here. I'll just double click on it and it changed it. Big face. You might want to label your layers in case you get lost over here. All right, so then the next thing you do simply enough is just go to select, go to select and mask. Here we go. So remember this guy right here. Uh, you may see no mask, you may see all mask just depends on what your opacity is here. I think by default it starts at 50%. Um, and then we have some different choices here, which we'll see in just a minute. But step one is just to hit at the top up here, select and mask or select subject. There we go. So it already does a pretty nice job of, of creating that mask here. And again, this is onion skin. So I can just see that white background here. That's my project file. I can see marching ants, which is the selection that it made right here. Overlay is just that uh, Ruby uh, mask, traditional mask layer there. And again, if I go back to here, it just blocks out the whole thing. So that's my mask. Or if I go this way, it makes the mask disappear. Again, I'm going to go back to about 50% here. And then there's a couple other ways to look at it. Obviously, they're pretty self-explanatory. But then black and white is another way that you can actually just sort of see what that mask looks like. All right, so let's zoom in a bump here. So like looking at the hair at the top up here, that's a pretty good uh, place to see some of these other settings. So if you remember down the side here, uh, smoothing, what smoothing does is it takes all the rough edges and sort of smooths those out. And it's, you can see it, uh, you know, too much smoothing looks like a licked popsicle, right? It sort of smooths everything out too much. I don't think this needs too much smoothing, so I'm going to turn that back. Feathering softens the edge of your mask. So if I turn up the feathering, right, it fuzzes it out. You just want to be careful that it doesn't look too blurry because then you'll see the background in there too of your picture you're cutting out and you don't want to see that. So we're going to turn that feather down for this particular image. Uh, contrast. Contrast is sort of the opposite of feathering where it's sharpening your edge there a little bit. So if it's too fuzzy, it brings in a little bit more detail. But again, I'm not going to do too much with that right now because honestly, it looks, it looks pretty darn good. And then shifting edge simply uh, contracts your overall um, layer mask, making it smaller, or it expands it out uh, and captures a little bit more detail, a little bit more uh, stuff on it as well. So we're going to go, again, we're going to pretty much leave it sort of where it's at. And here at the bottom, you have to find this one because you have to scroll all the way to the bottom. Just make sure that when you're pushing it out, you're not pushing it out as a selection, but you're pushing it out as a layer mask. Okay. Uh, so then I'm going to go back up to the top here. I'm going to take a look at it as my overlay, which I, is one of my favorites here. And I'm going to see that the outline looks pretty darn good. Uh, you do have some tools over here. These are uh, simple selection here. Uh, this is adding your uh, layer. This is subtracting your layer mask here. So like if I want to fix up this hair a little bit, I can just try to paint this bit here. 
uh, it's selecting areas by color, so it, it filled that in there, but it did not such a good job. So I'm going to go to plus, and just think about it like adding more of your original image to the picture here. And I'm just sort of painting. You can tap it a little bit, and I'm just trying to fix this. This part of the hair is going to be a little tricky over here. Um, uh, it's not too bad. I got a little piece in there. So uh, these hairs up here, you can refine even more. This uh, tool here will help you to sort of refine your edge a little bit, keeping it small. Um, again, adding a little bit of, let's go this way. I'm going to subtract the mask. I'm going to try to add a little more right here and here. See what I can do. This is why it's important to have a solid background for your, your image. There we go. I mean, yes, it's doing an okay job. But then like this part here, if you're having a hard time just figuring out, like getting this part, like my hair is just sort of screwy right here, you can also just use this tool, which is just like a paintbrush, or literally a, a painting brush. And you can just paint a solid unmask, or you can subtract the image from your design here, and you can just paint this out. Because again, the other, the other tools are a little trickier that they are, um, what do you call it? that they're trying to find the hairs and all that other stuff, but you might just want to just, again, have a, just a hard edge and figure that out. So that actually looks pretty good. You can try the refine hair button. It also will refine some of these other flyaways and stuff, but I'm actually going to cut the top of my head off eventually, so I'm not too worried about it. So then I just hit OK. There we go. And that's my basic uh, thing here. And you can see the hair doesn't look so great up here. But now, remember your layer mask over here, right? This is just on this guy right here. If I disable the layer mask, right, that's what it looks like there. I'm going to enable the layer mask. To get rid of more of this, I just use my paintbrush here. I flip-flop my color to black because black makes it disappear, right? Because black is over here in this color. Uh, remember the brackets. Just like in the layer select and mask one, too, your brackets here next to the letter P makes the brush bigger and smaller. You can also see your brush uh, properties up here. So hardness, I'm going to... Make this brush pretty hard because I want it to be pretty sharp. And I'm going to just erase the size of my head here. All right. And if I don't want this to be, like right now it's just sort of like, um, you know, like I want to get a nice curve on the top of my head here. I can also use some selecting tools, right? So like this selecting tool here, if I select this part of my face, no matter what size my brush is, it'll only erase inside that selection, right? So that could be handy for the top of my head here, and I can go to select, deselect, get sort of that selection, is I'm going to go like this. I'm going to take this tool, like so. I'm going to move it around here a little bit. I can, oops. I'm going to grab it. There you go. I'm going to take the selection. I'm going to move it around a little bit here so it's the top of my head. Let's bring it down a little bit. Just like that. But then I don't want to paint out this part. I want to paint this part out. So I'm going to say select and I'm going to say inverse. I'm going to use that paintbrush again. And I'm going to make a pretty big brush here. And I'm just going to paint like a wild man here. So whatever's outside of that selection, it's pretty cool, right? Oops. I don't want to get my glasses there. So let's go back here. I just undid that. So I sort of pulled that out like that. And then I'm going to say select, deselect. And now I've adjusted my layer mask just like that a little bit. So again, and that may be what you like, that may be not what you like. Um, we'll see. Uh, and then one last thing, uh, this is sort of a bonus, is this bit of my hair here I can see right here. Oops, ah, tap my mouse there. Is if I want to zoom in here a little bit. Making sure that I'm on my picture, not the layer mask, but on my picture. Remember, we use this, uh, some of these other tools here. This was my patching tool. I can outline this piece here. And I can try to blend that in a little bit if I just want to get rid of that funny little hair that was right there, right? Because again, it's whatever you're circling, and it's you're finding whatever inside this window that's going to blend the edges of it there, just like that. That I don't want to do. Select, deselect, or Command D on your keyboard. I'm going to hit Command minus to zoom out a little bit, and that's the first part. So then I'm just going to keep adding things and layering and putting stuff together, erasing creatively with my layer mask, and you should be good to go. All right.